Lowe School Assembly. It's not our last assembly because we have our final assembly on Tuesday. But this is an important assembly, and some of our students will be recognized, as I told you, a bunch of their accomplishments this year. So I will be presenting some award to students who participated in the Young Authors Contest. That means even if you weren't one of the winners, you really were a winner because your story was submitted and it was a fantastic story we want to be able to do that. So we're so proud of you. Dr. Glennon will be presenting some music medals to celebrate the musical accomplishments of our children. And Mrs. Powers will be presenting some noetic math awards for our winning young mathematicians. Okay? And then we'll conclude with a special um, program by some of our fourth graders. Okay? So we're going to start with our pledge. And we have um, Emily and Michael will lead us. I'm going to start by recognizing some of our students who participated in the Young and the NASA Reading Council Young Authors Award. So when you come up, I'm going to introduce a certificate. And please just stay here in the line across the moment that everybody um, will take some pictures, okay? So we're going to begin with our kindergarten participants. We have in kindergarten Zori Yi. Zori. Also from kindergarten, we have Kyla Chen. Yeah. In kindergarten, we also have Autumn Spence. Yeah. And um, we have Karina Thakor. Yeah. And we also have Elaine Nerson. Our first, grade, our first graders are Tristan Young. Tristan. So first graders, you're going to start standing over here. Congratulations, Tristan. Okay. Uh, we also have Amira Thompson. You can keep the screening to a minimum. I don't care if you chair a little bit, but the screening isn't a good idea. Okay. And we also have Angelica Raposo. And we have Violet Smith in first grade. <laughs> and our first grade winner was Leo Lucas. Lewis of Leo Lucas. Leo already got his certificate, right? He was the first grade winner, so you can see him right here. Okay, got his Okay. So in second grade, we have Olivia Prescott. We have Lucas Datterdeen. Um, Charlotte Schwartz. Okay. So 
and then fourth grade. Fourth grade, we have Coco and Maribel. Richard Wang. Juliana Hembry. And our third grade winner was Gabrielle Fortman. So congratulations to all of our young authors. They work very hard as all of our children do and our teachers also. We have a fantastic writing program and this is evidence of that. So congratulations young authors. You can go back to the seat now. I'm going to ask Dr. Glennon to come up to present him his number boards.
Olivia Williams. Can I remind you of what Mrs. Lyons asked for to keep the minimum, to keep the screaming at a minimum? Thank you, Rhea Yi. And Eileen Yin. Congratulations to all of our NISMA uh, uh, participants. And again, congratulations to all NISMA participants in the break. And now, I'm going to ask Mrs. Powers to present the awards for the Noah Edna Contest. Mrs. Powers. The goal of the competition is to encourage students' interest in math, to develop their problem-solving skills, and to inspire them to excel at math. Contestants were given 45 minutes to solve 20 very difficult problems, designed to challenge the students and to enrich their problem-solving experiences. We are very proud of the many fourth graders who participated in this spring's Noetic Learning Math Contest. This year's team included several national honorable mention recipients. So please come up as I call your name. Emily Lynn. Giovanni Vincent. Cooper Tang. Luca Ramirez. Artemios George Ellis.
Thank you so again. Congratulations to all of our students who were recognized today for their great accomplishments this year. Um, so I thought we have many, many special character traits that we teach all year long. Probably the one, the most important thing that we do, even more important than teaching writing and math, is teaching character and teaching you all of the important things that you must do to grow up to be really, really good people. One of the most important things is kindness. We constantly talk about being kind to one another. So the fourth graders in Mrs. Knox's class did um, something that I thought was very special involving kindness, and I have asked them to present it to us today. So Mrs. Knox. A Lebanese-American poet and painter once said, Kindness is like snow. It beautifies everything it covers. When we practice kindness, either to other people or towards ourselves, we can experience positive mental and physical changes. In fact, scientists have actually studied the effects of kindness and have found that it helps to lower our stress levels and it increases the body's production of feel-good hormones. I'm curious, by show of hands, how many of you like art? Oh, I thought so. This is Dean, we be thrilled to see this. Okay, hands down. How many of you like to make others feel good? That's wonderful, okay? Well, on grandparents, and Special Friends Day, our class read an article, a TFK article, titled Spreading Joy. We learned how an elementary school in California used art and positive kind messages to spread joy. They created a two-part program. The first part was called Pep Talk. It's actually a free hotline that kids can actually call adults to. And you can listen to recordings of kindergartners sharing advice and positive messages. And the second part of their program involved ways of spreading kindness through art. And I'd like to show you a real quick video that kind of highlights what they did. Thank you. 
five phone calls an hour, uh, and now, as I said before, we're getting 8,000 calls an hour. So um, it's pretty extraordinary and testament to how much this world needs us right now. my students thought of ways that they too could use art and a few kind words to spread joy. When Mrs. Lyons found out what the fourth graders were doing, she asked if we could share um, this work with you all. So at this time, I'd like to hand it over to the fourth graders so that they can uh, share what they did. create a sign up board for students to sign they are happy. My sign read, take one of the kind notes, then write your name on one of the petals from the flower. Almost every day I saw a new note, new name on the board, and one note taken. Making this board helped me feel like I was making peace in the community. So I hope my project has a powerful impact on you. Thank you. and stuck them on the paper I designed. Each bookmark had kind words and quotes on them. I made this so that while people read a book, they could have a comforting message to make them happy and proud of who they are. Emily and I also helped Ava create bookmarks and deliver them to third and fourth graders. book with kind messages on colorful stars. We wanted to make this book so kids feel like they're good enough for the world. Inside the book, we have motivational messages, and it made us feel like we made a change in the school world. Every day, we change the location of the book, so be sure to look out for it. We love doing this project. Thank, Thank you. of small acts of kindness. I display this in the fourth grade hallway. Thank you. Artenius and I created little kind notes and put them in Mrs. Knox's book club and classroom library books for next year's book readers to enjoy and use as page markers. Thanks to Cooper, Justin, Nora, Gabriella, Gabriella, Juliana, Emma, Sienna, and Emma for helping us make the notes for the bookmarks. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nora, and over the last couple of weeks, I've been working on my kindness project. I made a jar that has kind words in it, and I named it the Kind Words Jar. To stop by the fourth grade hallway and take a strip of paper from the jar when you need a positive note. Thank you. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Brielle and I made this kindness project because it's difficult for us to treat ourselves with kindness. So, I wrote kind words on popsicle sticks for kids to read and help them feel special and love themselves. Thank you for listening. Hi, my name is Gabriella Kelly. And hello, my name is Gabrielle. My fellow peers, Gabrielle and I, work together to make an accordion kindness project. For example, on each of the colored accordion, we wrote affirmations. These affirmations were designed to help people when they are getting bullied or laughed at for their flaws. Additionally, it's important for kids to feel good about themselves so that they don't go through depression or sadness. For example, 
well, one, that's one affirmation read, don't let people dim, dim your light. Meaning, there's a shining light inside of you, and kids try intentionally to shut that light down for your spark. Kennedy wanted to show people that embracing your flaws and uniqueness is a great way for people to recognize you. For we share these with pre-K, first grade, kindergarten, and second. This exercise in fourth grade taught the both of, the both of us that spreading kindness is an essential part of the Buckley community. Thank you! These are my fellow classmates, Nora and Siama. We made affirmation cookies based off of fortune cookies. We put affirmations and kind ways to act in every fortune cookie. After we were done, we put the fortune cookies in Chinese takeout boxes for everyone to enjoy. We only worked on this for a couple of weeks, but we hope we'll make a big impact on the community. Make sure to check out our affirmation cookies out on the front desk. Thank you! That was truly wonderful. Thank you so much, Mrs. Nance's fourth graders. I am immensely proud of each one of you. Um, what a gift that you're leaving to our, the rest of our students as you move on to upper school soon. So if there is one message that I can leave with you as we come close to the end of the school year, I think that would be it. Try to think of ways that you can spread kindness and joy. It's one of the best things you can do. Okay, thank you so much, and we will now dismiss our first graders.